So our special operations community uh, was requesting from uh, the powers that be uh, some support and some financial backing uh, to get the sort of plane uh, that would be able to provide close air support, uh, really get in there, be around the, uh, the fight for a longer period of time, uh, be able to land uh, near the fight and not have to travel back to other countries and major bases, uh, and be on hand and have that flexibility to really support a special operations profile type missions. Uh, there wasn't much traction for it, and then the Navy SEALs were able to break some ground. Uh, they were able to get some Tucanos leased, and they ramped them up and made them into the Super Tucano. So it's like Tucano 2.0, but beyond. The Super Tucano that is participating in the light attack experiment at Holloman Air Force Base right now uh, has been ramped up in different ways. It's armed to the with lots of different weapons, weapons that can uh, take out a single individual, weapons that can take out a vehicle trying to drive away with a bad guy in it, uh, even can take out things like compounds or caves where terrorists are hiding and, and are in fortified bunkers. So lots and lots of firepower it's bringing to the fight. It's also bringing the ability of that flexibility. This is one of the things that I love about it. It's able to land on a much shorter runway, and this runway does not have to be a formalized runway. That's another advantage that means that it can be in the area, it can refuel, it can stay in the regions of our remote forward operating bases and be on hand uh, to quickly respond because they're local and nearby when a ground team needs some support. And it's proven in the fight, it has already been used. Uh, by our Navy SEALs, which is one of our elite teams. And it's been used around the world in other fights as well. So this is a proven aircraft. Now don't let those retro classic looks fool you. Uh, this is a modern aircraft that is ramped up and ready to fight modern current threats that our troops are facing.